Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby, and today I am going to be bringing you all another part of the Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. So as you guys can tell, Daisy did actually age up. I know I aged her up off, cam off camera, I know lots of people don't like it when I age up the Sims off camera, but the problem is that if we head on to the calendar, today we also have another birthday or well, two birthdays since Finley and Birch are both going to be aging up and if I'm being completely honest I didn't want to do three birthdays in one part because that is just too crazy especially since last part was the birthday of Willow I don't just want this let's play to become a birthday let's play <laughs> So I decided to age her off off camera. So the only really day you missed was a Friday. So you only missed one day, so don't worry. But I did age up Daisy, which is really, really exciting. So I do have a couple things to show you guys to kind of update you. <laughs> Although we only missed out on one day, I still have like <laughs> stuff to show you. So of course, let's first of all actually focus on Willow since I'm currently kind of controlling her. So Willow applied for university and she should be kind of getting her application status or whatever thing we'll know if she has gotten accepted into Fox Fury and that is really really exciting it should be today so in today's part Willow is going to be moving out but I recently posted a poll on the community tab asking you guys who you wanted the hair to, the hair excuse me <laughs> the air to be and Willow is currently winning the poll but I'm not going to decide until next part since I want to give that poll at least 24 hours to run so most people can you know vote on it but Willow is actually winning the vote so far so we <laughs> we may actually be following her to university which is going to be pretty exciting i really i'm going to be sad about leaving everyone else but i love them all equally so i, I don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah she has actually applied which is a really really exciting and really really fun and actually daisy has decided to come back out here so i actually want to quickly update you guys on daisy as well actually before i do that so so sorry but i actually added a new family portrait more like a sibling portrait one of you guys let me know that the kind of family portrait portrait needed to be kind of updated because this one right here it only it doesn't have baby birch in it and I didn't really have a pose pack that could fit in the whole family so instead I just got kind of a portrait of all of the siblings so yeah anywho back to of course Daisy so I'm going to quickly hop into create sim show you guys her outfits and we can kind of get to know this new version of her a little bit more alrighty so we are now in create a sim and this is Daisy Honeybrew I had such a fun time picking out her outfits since she is super duper girly and I always love picking outfits for my girly sims. So yeah, this is Daisy. So of course, we kind of are already familiar with her. You know, she's always been extremely girly. She's always been, you know, always kind of been a little bit trendy as well. I think she definitely does dress quite fashionable. And the latest trait that I did give Daisy was the self-absorbed trait. She always just gave me very self-absorbed vibes. So now she's self-absorbed, neat, outgoing and a perfectionist as well and her aspiration is leader of the pack. I'm probably going to update this aspiration when she hits the age of a young adult but right now her current goal is to be the most popular girl in school and so far she is kind of succeeding although she isn't the most popular. We'll get into that in just a second but let's for now focus on her outfits. So basically for her everyday wear one she has this really pretty kind of long hair with a couple of clips which is so adorable. I thought this hair suited her so much. She isn't too into accessories but she does enjoy wearing some earrings so she's got like a little round white earring there and she does actually quite like wearing makeup so she is wearing some eyeshadow eyeliner blush and lip gloss but she likes to wear it quite natural and then for her outfit she has this really cute kind of pink top here with these really cute denim jeans which have daisies on them it's so fitting just some kind of relaxed kind of trainers and then for her second outfit it's a lot lot more girly she has this really cute long sleeve like but not pink top she's got once again the same earrings but this time a neck and she also has this really adorable kind of short mini skirt once again the same shoes as her last outfit her third outfit is a very quite casual very quite you know comfortable and as you guys can tell she has these really cute earrings in once again they're her favorite pair of earrings she has this kind of jumper with a cute little heart on the collar which is really cute and she's also wearing these really nice denim jeans which she actually wore in her every day wear one as well I think it's realistic that my sims kind of re-wear the same clothing items because I find it more realistic so I just reuse these jeans once again the same shoes and for her fourth outfit she basically just has some really cute kind of white shorts with some once again <laughs> trainers these are her favorite shoes and also this really cute kind of long sleeve sort of crop top 
top and sometimes she also wears her hair in a braid. For her formal wear, she basically has her hair completely down in a very kind of wavy way. This looks really, really nice. I'm pretty sure she just has the same makeup on for all of her outfits, but then she has this really nice kind of peachy, corally kind of colored dress, which is really, really adorable. And then for her athletic wear, it is a very, <laughs> very, very pink. And then for her sleep wear, she's got this really, really adorable kind of daisy yoga bra, which is so adorable. I think it's so cute, very comfortable. I love the shorts I gave her as well. And of course, the bunny slippers. I love these slippers to death, to be honest. Oh, and she also likes to wear her hair in two little braids when she goes to sleep. And for her party wear, she has these really cool kind of flare jeans or is that what they're called <laughs> really really sorry i'm gonna get someone like yelling at me that i'm calling them the wrong thing but she has these really cute denim jeans and this really cute pink crop top and a really cute necklace and i really do like her party wear i feel like she definitely does dress very fashionable and then for her swimwear really really cute very relaxed and then her weather wear she's actually wearing the same shorts that she wears in her fourth everyday wear but it's very cute she's got these really cute kind of see-through sunglasses <laughs> or like, is that what you'd call them? I'm not too sure, but yeah, really, really cute. And then for her cold weather wear, this is really, really adorable. Just some jeans, her favorite shoes, and this really cute jumper with little hearts on the elbows, which is so cute. And yeah, once again, her side braid. So those are all of Teen Daisy's outfits. Let me know what you think about them. So as we know, she is very, very neat. She is very outgoing, very self-absorbed. So I really tried to kind of put that into her outfits. I definitely wanted to mix in a lot of kind of very fashion fashionable, trendy, kind of popular <laughs> vibes. I'm really not selling this, am I? But I also tried to keep, you know, Daisy in it because I don't know, she loves the color pink so much. And I think, you know, she does wear a little bit too much of it where it stops becoming quite fashionable, but I would just feel so wrong not giving Daisy pink in almost all of her outfits. So I uh, guess yeah, she still, of course, wears lots of pink, but I really tried to give her the very, you know, popular girl vibe, but it was really difficult because she is like such a sweet looking Sim. Like she actually looks so loving and so lovely, which she is, of course, because she's been raised in that kind of environment, but she's definitely got more of a mean side to her. But the reason I didn't give her the full mean trait is it just didn't feel right. Like it's really hard to explain, but when I started like, you know, playing with her and giving her her outfits, it just, it didn't feel right to make her mean, but she definitely is still very bossy. And I don't know, I think sometimes she can be a bit mean, but just because she wants to, you know, fit in with her more kind of mean girl popular peers. But yeah, I hope you guys like Daisy's outfits and let me know what you think about her makeover in the comment section down below. Alrighty, so now we're back in game and it is about to become 11 a.m. And as we know, there is another birthday happening today but for now all the siblings kind of just hanging out and chatting they're really trying to spend as much time with <laughs> willow as they can i mean they've always spent time together but they're really cherishing this time now because they're gonna miss big sister willow because she is like the one you go for for advice whether it be studying advice or just general life advice everyone goes to willow and they just love her so much so the fact that you know she's not gonna be here hurts me and hurts them a lot so they're just trying to spend as much time together as they possibly can which is really really nice but of course as we know it is Birch and Finley's birthdays today so Finley has kind of asked that for his birthday they of course go on a camping trip because that is Finley's most favorite thing in the whole wide world and they haven't gone for a very long time he also really wants to take Birch out camping too because I haven't really big feeling that Birch is gonna love it because he is kind of a mini Finley as I've said like a million times already so I think that it's gonna be really 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 fun to kind of see how he thinks about it and honestly these two are like so close I'm not even kidding I love them I feel like you know Finley's life is complete because of his son Birch like of course he loves all his kids but because Birch is literally like a mini him I feel like his life is so complete I also did mention that I'm planning on getting everyone to head to a spa and get there oh no 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 where did the fire start who started the fire where is it coming <gasps> what oh oh no the washing machine <gasps> Willow! <laughs> no, Willow! Did Willow set on fire? Willow set on fire, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, these guys are on it immediately, but we could have lost Willow, you guys. Imagine. Imagine if Willow, like, died in a fire. That would be so I would, like, end this Let's Play because <laughs> it would hurt too much. Oh my goodness. What a way to start the morning. I cannot believe this. My goodness. But anyway, we're just gonna, like, 
replace both of our washing machines and then we're going to go ahead and get rid of the dirt and oh my gosh oh no what else got destroyed i'm gonna go ahead and get poor willow to go to her en suite and have a shower but as i was trying to say i really do want to get the honey brews to head out to a spa because i think they kind of want to go out and get their nails done do some relaxing kind of just to celebrate the birthday or oh, sorry not the birthday but the departure of willow going to university bit of a weird word choice there but look how cute this is as we know fisher loves his little brother with all his heart he loves having a little brother as well <laughs> he's trying to teach him cards and birch just doesn't want to learn like he's walking off he's like i do not want to learn flash cards i just want to play dolls like leave me alone fisher <laughs> i've been kind of thinking about that and i I'm gonna get them to go to the nail salon or to, you know, the spa, but the only thing that's kind of stopping me is that we cannot bring a toddler to the salon with us, and I don't really think that. Where is, where is Fisher? I don't think that Fisher will want to go either. Like, I just don't feel like spas are his thing. Like, if Daisy would 100% go, and Willow and Feather would as well. I'm not sure just about, you know, the men. I'm not sure if they would necessarily want to go to the spa. I just don't see them going. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that because I really want them to go and Willow does have something that she wants to kind of announce to the family as well. If you've seen the community post, you'll know exactly what it is, but I'll leave it for a surprise if you haven't seen the community post, but Willow does have something to kind of announce and we need the whole family. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna like do about it if I'm being completely honest. So I'm not exactly sure on what we're going to be doing with that, but my kind of thoughts are maybe we could get the girls to go to the salon, maybe with Miss Yuki as well and then maybe afterwards we could all go ahead and maybe grab some dinner I think that that could be pretty adorable so I think that I really do want to go camping but I think I'm going to wait until Birch and Finley have aged up so if we head onto the calendar maybe on Sunday we can all like there's a lot lots lots of stuff is going to happen maybe on Sunday we can all go on a camping trip to maybe Granite Falls maybe not Granite Falls because we I mean it feels like we've gone there quite recently but maybe let's go to like another place in Willow Creek so I think we are going to go camping on Sunday but today I think we're probably just gonna you know go to the spa then kind of get a meal out to celebrate the birthdays of Finley and Birch and maybe Willow can go off to university on Monday oh my god I'm so sad about it so yeah I think that's what's probably gonna happen uh camping on Sunday today we're gonna go to the spa and get some dinner and then on Monday Willow will be leaving for university which I need to shut up about I'm just I'm we may even be following her there so all this like sadness on my part will be literally for nothing but uh yeah so I think for now it is like 2 p.m so I think we're just gonna head out now I think which will be pretty cool with these three and I actually haven't added in the spa yet so I'm probably gonna quickly actually add in that now okay so we have just arrived at the spa I just picked up the spa off of the gallery I'll be quickly putting the gallery ID of the person who made it on the screen if you'd like to go ahead and download this and add it in your add it into your game yourself so i think that the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and head into the sauna which is going to be really fun it looks so nice this build is so luxurious and just absolutely beautiful this is actually really really good as well because they're all feeling pretty tense from the fire and oh no why won't feather relax feather go relax honey you deserve it oh my goodness i love this so much i feel like feather isn't the usual person to go to spas if you know what i mean i don't think she's the usual person to really go to them oh no okay maybe maybe she doesn't like the sauna maybe she's like please it's too hot i'm going to go ahead and get her to just maybe swim some laps in the pool then but oh my goodness i feel like daisy is 100 percent going to be making like frequent visits to the spa for sure i'm already sure about willow though i feel like she is probably not going to be visiting the spa too often okay guys so feather is getting her massage oh my gosh look how cool it's this. <laughs> i haven't played with this for so long oh my goodness she looks so relaxed right now love that we're just waiting on willow where are you willow why are you not willow oh okay <laughs> willow's all the way up here i was gonna say why isn't she with them but it's actually started thunderstorming which i feel like kind of adds to the relaxing vibe maybe it doesn't because it's a thunderstorm but still willow is all the way up here getting her massage okay manicure style so for daisy i 
think we are going to go with her. I feel like Daisy would probably want a very much coffin shaped kind of nail look and I think she's probably gonna obviously go with pink. <laughs> And then for Willow, and I'm really, really excited to go ahead and give her the pan one. So lots of you guys also recommended, or not recommended, or like thought that she would be pan. And at first I wasn't like too sure, but since so many people said it and really nearly like kind of entering her young adult stage, I kind of thought that it did really, really fit. And this is the kind of thing I was going on about in the community post and loads of people were really, really into that idea as well. So she's gonna go ahead and get this one right here which is so adorable okay oh oh no wait hold on <laughs> the manicures for the feet no i wanted the nails okay looks like we're getting a manicure we'll also get a pedicure as well no wait hold on but it, it she's doing it for daisy what have i done wrong here i actually have no idea to be honest but okay <laughs> it looks like we're starting off with daisy it looks like feather's just doing hold on i didn't even make feather no there was no one around to do the manicure for feather okay so feather's just relaxing she doesn't really want her nails or toenails done all right i'm not wrong then i just there was just no other kind of massage chair attendant <laughs> around to do hers so i just kind of let her relax okay but look at them ah it's so cute okay screenshots 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 oh my gosh look and yay it's not glitching out either lovely look at these three i love them so much i think the feather still can like not get over that like one of her daughters is a young adult and the other one is like a teenager now like what like what happened <laughs> oh my god okay this is so adorable adorable. I think Willow is definitely feeling very, very nervous. I know it's kind of like, you know, a very stereotypical way, but still, I think it's still really adorable and kind of an idea that kind of popped into my head. So yeah, I cannot wait. Oh, one hand is done. Okay, we can't see it yet. Hopefully it'll pop up in just a second, but how are you doing, Daisy? Daisy's just getting her second face, well, second hand painted, which is so adorable. Okay, so I think that we are finished okay okay so daisy's finished all right oh, wow <laughs> look at daisy's look at her nails they are so long oh my goodness daisy's looking so good but well, no they didn't finish the woman just stopped painting her nails girl seriously hold on that is so annoying no the woman just stopped painting her nails like midway through that's so rude can we like wait there's not an option now i think it's because of this storm or something but that is so annoying and oh what Daisy's asking some advice from Willow that she's gotten some anger issues, which I'm not surprised about. Willow's just going to tell her to do a workout, but that's so annoying that they just stopped midway through and didn't like finish. Hold on, we can do it again. We're going to go ahead and request a manicure because I need <laughs> this to happen. This is a big moment and a big thing for the story, so I need this to happen. Please paint our nails quickly because we need to go out for a dinner since our son and my husband, I think Will it Feather's probably saying like, please hurry because my son and my husband are both aging up and he's like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh my God, yay, <laughs> they're done. Okay, really, I just never thought it would happen. Oh my gosh, how cute, <gasps> love that. Hold on, I need to get a cute screenshot of this. Like this is like the cutest screenshot ever, oh my gosh yay okay willow's now gonna go ahead and show feather and daisy you guys oh my god willow got struck by lightning <laughs> Honestly, the world is really out to get Willow today, isn't it? Oh my lord, Willow. Anyways, oh god, can we like cheat her? Cheat her need? I hate, I feel bad for cheating her need, but like I do not want her to look like she got struck by lightning, although she did get struck by lightning. Can we just like cheat that? Oh god. Oh, I don't have to, ugh. Anyways, we're just gonna have to ignore the fact that she is on fire. Well, she still loves her nails, like... <laughs> Oh my god. All right, but we're going to go ahead and have a deep personal conversation with Daisy and with Feather, you guys. Oh my gosh, so she's totally just going to go ahead and kind of show them her nails and kind of just say, you know, this is who she is. And oh my gosh, I think Feather's like, you know what, honey, that is absolutely amazing. Your nails look awesome. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. And the Sims, there's another Sim that got struck by lightning. Please, why? This poor guy also got struck by lightning as well. But now she's also telling Daisy. And I feel like Daisy hasn't had like as much of a positive reaction to this as I think Feather other word daisy's just not really saying much she's kind of just like oh okay like whatever and i think we'll get into why she had that reaction in just a second
skin but she isn't actually as supportive as of course feather is or even supportive at all daisy just isn't really saying much of course as we can tell feather is super duper happy right now and super duper bubbly but daisy she really isn't and she isn't really saying much to willow so we'll definitely be exploring that in just a second but for now it is nearly 1am and i do want these guys to go out and grab some dinner with the rest of the family to celebrate birch and finley's kind of birthday now so we are going to be heading to olive's garden but yeah i am really really proud of willow Alrighty then so everyone is sitting down and of course willow is kind of reading i'd imagine she's actually studying not reading because she's more of a studying kind of person rather than a bookworm so we're just going to go ahead and get her to put that book away because we do need to of course order for the table so now willow is actually a young adult she can now have alcohol so i'm actually going to go ahead and order her her first ever drink do you guys find it so cute that she's having like her first ever drink with her family instead of like at a party with her friends i just think that's like so freaking adorable she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna go ahead and have juice on the rocks oh my goodness how exciting so now everyone is just gonna chat i think that now she is showing off her nails to feather and finley which is a really really adorable we haven't got like a proper look at them yet please there we go we need we haven't got like a really proper look oh my god they look so adorable love them love them love them but i think the fisher is like oh my gosh willow that's awesome like i'm really proud of you i like how like bashful he looks he's such a bashful sim but i think he's like oh willow like really really proud of you and yeah he's probably just saying how happy he is and how proud he is and i think finley is the same he's also saying you know i'm really proud of you as well which is just so cute the only one who isn't really being as supportive is our girl daisy right here who's checking out her new nails so she is the only one who isn't being that supportive she hasn't really said much to be honest and as i said we will get into that probably maybe not in this part but probably pretty soon and i'm not sure if you guys have already kind of guessed but now everyone is just having a really nice time kind of talking kind of chatting they're probably discussing of course willow's departure to university which they're all probably dreading a lot and they're also talking about you know finley becoming an elder like what's that about <laughs> and also of course about baby birch being a child i think you know feather and finley are going to be so sad they don't have like a toddler around because they've had like toddlers around for years now but they are ready to to kind of say goodbye to the toddlers and kind of welcome in more older kids now but they have already raised like three children to teenagers which is pretty amazing like look at them do you guys remember oh my gosh also look at finley love this family so much he seems to be just reciting some poetry or something was these three are just over here just kind of chatting about whatever as we know the siblings are really really close like they're very different to each other but they're the kind of the siblings that will always be like super duper close like lots of siblings like if you have like four kids usually some siblings prefer the other siblings with the honey brews they all just love each other so much and there's no like preferred siblings which i think is really adorable now the food is here so they're probably going to enjoy the food then we're going to bring out the cake and we're going to summon <laughs> birch over here because birch currently isn't here we're going to imagine that he is but you guys know toddlers in restaurants they do not mix so we are kind of going to invite him over later and then we're probably going to be aging up birch and finley you guys but for now these guys are going to enjoy some delicious a food and then we'll be bringing out the cake and oh my gosh willow what do you think about your first ever drink yeah she's kind of just like oh anticlimactic much <laughs> oh my god philly just a shop out of nowhere i was not expecting that <laughs> I mean, it is like, what, nearly 6am. We're going to pretend it's like not 6am. I have been cheating up needs, etc. But Finley did just age up. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Finley, Finley, where are you? Oh lord. My goodness. Okay, I will of course be giving Finley an elderly makeover, you guys. I won't change too much about him, but we will be giving him his kind of makeover in just a moment. So do not worry one bit. I'm probably just going to update him when little Fisher does age up as well. Sorry, not Fisher. Um, birch <laughs> variety it is now time to bring out the cake and i only just realized that the honey brews have kind of gone to so many restaurants together like it only has just hit me that they are definitely restaurant people but we are now going to go ahead and bring birch honey brew here and i'm actually going to go ahead and get fisher to age him up because i think that you know fisher and birch are super close and i think it's only fair that you know fisher is the one to age up his little baby brother who he loves ever so dearly let's go ahead and blow out the birthday candles Oh, oh my god so sad <laughs> okay there we go we got the screenshots everyone's celebrating lots of chaos right now and okay happy birthday baby but okay he should be aging up Alrighty, there he goes birch has aged 
oh, we no longer have any babies in our household. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and with Birch, I think that he is definitely a more motor, kind of playful, nimble, kind of kid. We're going to go with that aspiration. And of course, he definitely actually loves the outdoors. All the other siblings don't actually have th this trait. Finley and Feather both do, and Birch is the only child that's really inherited the love for the outdoors like the parents, which I think is really, really cute. And I think that he is also definitely going to be outgoing for sure and i'm very tempted to give him the goofball trait because i think he's very similar to willow where he's very funny but i kind of want to reserve that trait for willow <laughs> to be honest because i don't know but i think that we are going to probably maybe just leave it at these two traits for now but when we start playing more with birch if you guys see a trait that you think would fit him do let me know in the comment section down below because right now i think you know outgoing and loves outdoors are good but when we start playing with him and if you guys kind of start noticing a trait that would kind of suit him do you let me know okay let's have a little look at him oh he's so adorable of course we're gonna give him a makeover but he actually has feathers eyes like a hundred percent like not only her eye color but her eye shape as well look at him so precious okay everybody so i've just gotten everybody to head home we're gonna like pretend that a night did go by but they did arrive back at home at like 9 a.m because we spent all night at the restaurant and at the spa but we're gonna pretend that they went home they went to bed etc willow is actually planning on beginning to pack her bags but before we do that i actually want to go ahead and get her to check if she got accepted to the university or not this is really really scary i really hope she did because she really wants to get that distinguished degree so check application status and also you guys i did give a makeover to finley and birch so we will be looking at them in just a moment okay scholarship result letter let's go ahead and open this one first. We are sorry to inform that Willow Honey Brew has not been awarded the Willow Creek Scholarship. Better luck next time. Oh no. Well distinguished from reading university accepting letter. Oh no. Being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programs has Willow smiling. So she did get accepted into the... Blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak. She got accepted into Fox Marine into the distinguished degree program, which is awesome that's good but she didn't seem to get one of the scholarships i think she also actually got did she get accepted no 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 she did she actually got the scholarship for super scout she's doing a little dance right now so yeah willow did get accepted <laughs> let's just pause for a second i'm really sorry that was so chaotic and it didn't even need to be that chaotic i just made it but our girl willow got accepted into the university she got a scholarship for super scout and she's also gotten a distinguished degree so i'm so proud of our girl willow she's like i got accepted and i also got this a scholarship and he's like oh my goodness wills i am so proud of you right now oh that is awesome so yeah she's currently kind of telling him you know how afraid she was that she wasn't going to get in but she's like i'm so happy that i got accepted now that excitement is kind of out of the way <laughs> i feel like that could have gone so much more easier and i had to make it so 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 stressful but let's let's actually have a little look around willow creek really quickly it is currently a early autumn's morning it actually just turned to autumn it is currently day one of autumn and you guys can kind of tell that the trees are starting to go to like a yellowish color which is so exciting but now willow has been properly accepted and she has booked her flight to brightchester tomorrow she actually wants to begin packing her bags now so it looks like little birch is going to be helping her we can kind of just envision the whole family helping out so before we do kind of pack all of willow's bags and kind of pack up her bedroom i do want to have a little tour around it because i really do love willow's bedroom i feel like it's ever so unique and i really just want to have one more kind of look around one more tour so i hope you guys don't mind me being really really sentimental but as you guys can tell she has her little alien there we'll make it quick because you guys are pretty familiar with her room but i've kind of been adding things to it as she's kind of gone through her life so there is some stuff that you guys probably have not seen yet so basically willow loves posters so there's lots of posters her little scouting board a fish that she caught we have a naked gnome <laughs> right there very fitting for willow and we have 
of her wardrobe and we have a really cool kind of alien poster and we also have a little poster of oh not a poster sorry a little picture of her there taking a selfie and her little scout kind of award she also got a cool stone that i'm pretty sure finley and feather bought her when they were going to their trip to san Machino and she has a little calendar here some pictures i like to envision that's like her and her friends if that makes any sense <laughs> and actually a painting that maybe fisher painted i'm not sure though but then if we go over here we have this really nice kind of mirror we have this really cool kind of speaker thing and some of her school projects which she loves just having there on display and then we have this little bookshelf here which is very kid like but i feel like she does enjoy having that around and we have a little cute panda lamp and a selfie of her and her father finley and then we have some more posters of course which are really really cool and then we have these really cute fairy lights with some pictures on them and then we have of course her bed which is the creatures i forgot what they're called but it's one of those the void critters it's one of the void critters and that is kind of her bed because i feel like she probably is into the whole void critters scene <laughs> but now we are going to be packing up so we're going to go ahead and get her to just put these in her inventory so i'm just going to get her to pack everything away now so willow has finished packing up all her stuff she is feeling very very nervous about kind of flying halfway across the world to go to university but she's equally really really excited about it of course and i feel like right now she's just kind of talking to her parents and everything which is really cute i think she's kind of just saying you know i'll definitely visit for harvest fest i'll try and come back as much as possible but i don't think she's going to be visiting quite a lot because as you guys can imagine flying Lights are not cheap so yeah she won't be visiting us a lot for a while but I think it's still nice that she's kind of saying that she's going to try to but everyone's kind of just chatting right now and I did say that we were going to go camping today but to be completely honest it's already like 3 p.m and we've kind of just been occupied with packing for Willow today so I don't think we're going to be going on a camping trip although it could have been really short I just I don't think we're going to have time today unfortunately so yeah we're not we're probably not going to be going camping but I'll definitely get these guys to go camping off the camera so yeah that's kind of willow can't believe she's moving out tomorrow i just i still cannot wrap my head around that but before i do forget since i usually do <laughs> forget <laughs> lots of things we are going to go ahead and hop into creator sim so i can show you guys the makeover of a little baby but she's not really a baby anymore Okay, so this is Birch. He has continued the trend of dressing exactly like his father in those green and brown colours. So of course, he's going to be dressing very similar to Finley. As we know, Finley is literally his role model. He looks up to Finley. He wants to do everything that Finley has done in his life. And I think that's just so freaking adorable. So he really does want to dress like his father. For his hair, I've just kind of given him this very short, sort of curly haircut. I was very tempted to give him like quite longer hair, but I decided not to because I think Birch prefers more shorter hair so I just gave him this kind of wavy-ish hairstyle which looks really adorable on him. Once again his first outfit just some denim jeans, some brown boots and a cardigan. For his second outfit it is very very adorable he's rocking these really really cute dungarees and this really really cute jumper which looks so adorable. This outfit just screams Finley and I think that's just so freaking adorable and for his third outfit once again just a really cute kind of jumper the same pair of those denim jeans and some really cute brown boots. His former wear is really adorable, just this little jumper with a little bow tie with some Christmas trees on it. And for his athletic wear, just this green hoodie, which is so cute. For his sleepwear, these really cute green pyjamas, lots and lots of green. <laughs> for his party wear, which is my personal favourite outfit, he's got these really cute little shorts on, these really cute shoes. He just looks so fancy and this is probably the most Finley outfit that Birch wears. <laughs> he's wearing this cute little kind of fish swimming costume. For his hot feather wear, I get a bit lazy to honest when it comes to my children's hot weather wear but he's just wearing these shorts with a little kind of jumper tied around it this really cute shirt and of course some sun cream and for his cold weather wear once again tons of green and just this really adorable little look i love it a lot so those are all of birch's outfits he really does like to dress like finley as i've said he is a mini finley and he just has a really adorable style you know he's a very sweet outgoing kid and he's just an awesome <laughs> sweet child he is baby birch after so yeah let me know what you think of Birch's outfits in the comment section down below. Next we have Finley who's hardly changed at all. I just gave him a different kind of beard and this new haircut. I don't think he's ready 
well, I don't think I was ready to give him grey hair yet, so for now I just kept his hair to his natural very reddish colour. But I think in the future we will be giving him his grey hair, but for now I just want to kind of keep his red hair. And I gave him a couple new outfits, but I didn't really switch them up really too much because I feel like he still kind of dresses the same. I don't think he's ready to take like a huge kind of step with the way he dresses yet. So really all I did change was his everyday wear one. I just gave him like a new kind of jacket and I also gave him a new hairstyle and a new beard. So let me know what you think of this slightly changed version of Finley as well. Now we are back in the game, I think that the Honey Brews are planning on having quite a relaxed day today. So I think because of this, I want to kind of focus on Daisy today. So I forgot to update you guys on something, and that something is that Daisy is part of the Paragons Club. So I actually downloaded some Sims off of the creator Sims on the Rope. I will quickly put on screen their origin id right now if you'd like to go ahead and download any of their sims a couple of months ago i saw ocean sims kind of look at their sims and i thought their sims would suit my game a lot so i actually added some of their townies into my game so of course if you guys remember i did actually get her to join the paragons i'm pretty sure i did that off camera but i got her to join it when she was a child and i didn't really mess with it but i thought that now she's a teenager i think we're going to focus a lot on it and it does say daisy is the leader but i like to imagine that aurora is actually the leader of the club club instead of Daisy. Since Aurora in my head is kind of like the leading girl in this school, you know, she's very popular, she's actually a mean girl, and so are the other people in this club. Aside from Sean, he's just a really sweet jock guy. <laughs> I just kind of added in because I thought he kind of suited, but he's a really sweet guy, but aside from that, these guys are kind of like, you know, the mean girls, but Daisy isn't actually the leading mean girl, but she kind of wants to be. She's more, she's more of like the follower. Aurora's like Regina George, or Daisy is like Gretchen. I think that since it is Sunday, Day today and these guys aren't really doing much. Daisy really wants to kind of stay with her family since Willow is leaving tomorrow but Willow kind of told her, Daisy if you want to go ahead and hang out with your friends at the pool, you know, it's almost autumn now so you're probably not going to go there, be able to go there much longer because of the colder weather. Just, you know, go on, go out, it's fine, I'll be here tonight, we can have like a family movie night or something. So we are going to actually go ahead and get Daisy to actually go to the pool right now to do a gathering with Paragons Club and then I can kind of introduce you guys to them in a more in-depth way. Alrighty, so we have arrived and luckily for us, the weather is actually warm and sunny in Windenburg. So the perfect time for swimming. So let's do a quick, very, very quick introduction to all of kind of the paragons. So we're going to start over here with Angelica Ververido. Verido. So, 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 so sorry, I cannot pronounce surnames. This is Angelica and she is probably like the second mean girl, I'd imagine. She is very, very sassy. She comes from a, quite a rich family. She can be very mean sometimes and her kind of dream in life is to be an actress. Next is Emily, who's actually having an issue with <laughs> the ring in her eyelashes, so ignore that. Now, Emily is another quite mean person. She is probably the most Although she is in the popular girl group, in my head, she isn't as cool as the other people <laughs> in the Paragons. But she is, of course, just as mean and just as into fashion. And she's also quite a snobby sim as well. Then there is the leader, who is Aurora. Her name is kind of spelt Aurora, but with an E. So hopefully, I am like pronouncing it right. Hopefully, it is Aurora. And I'm not just mispronouncing it <laughs> wrongly. But this is kind of, as I said, kind of like the main queen bee of the school she is mean. She does look quite sweet, but I did give her the mean trait. She is like the overall mean girl of the school. And then we also have Sean, who is, as, as I said, like a jock. He's on the sports team. He's actually a really sweet guy who will actually play a huge role in the storyline I have planned for Daisy. So these guys are probably now just having a chat, probably gossiping a lot, which is really, really cool. I'm going to try and get her and Aurora to have their relationship off a little bit. As you guys can tell, lots of the relationship is 50%. She's I'm mainly close with Aurora and Angelica, not as much with Emily, mainly because she just doesn't really like Emily too much, but she's mainly close with Angelica and Aurora. For now, we're just getting Daisy to try on some athletic wears in front of them all. She's like, what do you guys think? Let's see what they all think about it. This is such a fun aspect of get together. They're kind of just commentating. Oh my gosh, look at Daisy. Oh my gosh, she is such like, look at that 
face oh my lord she's like such a popular girl i really have missed playing this kind of gameplay <laughs> oh my god i'm now getting aurora and daisy to take a little bit of a selfie oh my gosh how adorable as i have said daisy is mostly close with aurora out of everybody daisy does kind of prefer aurora over all of the other people in the group she just loves talking to aurora and just hanging out with her i'm really sure if you guys kind of getting where i'm going or not but i guess you know <laughs> speculate in the comment section please i love hearing you guys' ideas and everything but it is actually almost 10 p.m so i think she's kind of saying you know my sister's going off to uni tomorrow like i need to head home and oh girl get out of that outfit that is just oh that is horror anyway as i was saying it is nearly 10 p.m and she's like hey like my sister's going off to uni tomorrow like i need to head home now it's really fun hanging out with everybody and look at that walk oh my goodness she feels like so proud of herself she's like i am part of the mean girl squad like i am literally part of the popular girl squad i am the most coolest person in school ever <laughs> i love daisy she's just such a sweet old bean i have just returned home to fisher doing a really really lovely painting of a flower for willow since he wants to kind of give her a good luck slash goodbye gift so he is currently painting this really sweet little flower picture for his sister he is definitely gonna miss her but now all the honey brews have headed off to bed they're all dreading tomorrow since that is when willow is going to be leaving but they all wanted to get an early night so they can spend as much time kind of finishing packing for willow so they've all gone to bed now so i'll be seeing you all when these guys wake up tomorrow okay everybody so it is now the next day and i am really really angry and sad and annoyed to inform that i forgot to hit record when we went into the next day you guys so you missed out on the whole morning which is really really annoying and i'm really angry about it i mean nothing crazy like happened basically everyone just woke up you know the kids got ready for school we have kind of decided that she is going to be getting her flight at 6 p.m so they didn't really say goodbye yet though so do not worry so they didn't say goodbye to willow yet because she's probably going to say goodbye to her siblings when they get back from school so of course it was a very chaotic morning everyone getting off etc i also mentioned that it was a chill in the wind which is one of the festivals that i kind of have at the beginning or no sorry holidays that i have at the beginning of autumn so i did get finley to go ahead and put up all the autumnal decorations for harvest fest and spook fest and as i said everybody just kind of got ready for school and got dressed and i got finley feather and willow to have a more mature chat once the kids have gone about you know her plans in uni and right now we are currently at the magnolia blossom park it is actually 10 a.m now so she did want to go ahead and spend some time with her friends before she does head off to university because she spent a lot of time with her family and she's going to be spending even more time with her family later on today she wanted to say an adios <laughs> to all of her friends that was really strange why did i say that so everyone is now headed inside since it is pretty cloudy today and they're all just talking about you know their futures and what they're kind of planning on doing i think sky's like you know i'm gonna miss you so much when you're gone but i hope you have an amazing kind of university experience but everyone's now having a good old chit chat oh it's great to see that she's kind of found a friend group because as we know willow is usually friends with everyone so it's really nice to see that she's found you know people she's super duper close with she's now becoming best friends with sky which is so adorable oh my gosh how cute these guys just became like ultimate best friends which is so fun to see oh this is so bittersweet because we all know that she's gonna be moving she'll be back eventually though it's fine i'm overreacting but yeah it's great to see that you know she's really i know i keep saying this but it's lovely to see that she's really made you know really close friends and i feel like benson and sky are her really really close friends so yeah this is just really really nice to kind of see oh Oh my god how wholesome but it is now 1 30 p.m and i think willow's like you know it's been great hanging with you guys but i do need to like head off now because my siblings can be back from school pretty soon but before she goes she wants to have a quick conversation with dakota if we remember willow did actually kind of tell dakota at the pool party i think that you know she always kind of had a crush on him which was really really adorable they haven't really had their first kiss yet and i think that this is going to be a perfect opportunity kind of like a goodbye kind of first kiss so i think that you know willow's kind of thinking you know should 
I have like a first kiss with him like you know now would that be a good idea I think that Sky probably said girl just like go for it like it's so romantic like you're about to go off to uni just do it now like that'll be so romantic and so cute but well it's like you know do I want to or not because she does like Dakota but she's like do I like like him enough and I think she is really tempted so I think we are gonna go ahead and get Willow to have her first kiss with Dakota okay you guys these guys are about to have their first ever kiss oh my god how exciting screenshots I know I'm gonna annoy someone with my screenshots but there we go Willow just had her first ever kiss with Dakota before she goes which is really really nice oh I love that so much but now it is 4 p.m so Willow's, Willow's gonna say you know this has been ever so fun Dakota you know thanks for being so cool but I gotta catch my flight in a couple of hours and I've got to kind of say goodbye to my siblings you know I'm off so yeah that was so adorable so let me know what you guys thought about that in the comment section down below to be honest I don't think she's probably going to end up <laughs> ever with Dakota but let me know what you think either way and this is also really nice Willow just to head to the Magnolia Blossom Park because of course this was a park which she went to so many times growing up so it's really nice for her to see her friends and kind of say goodbye to the park as well but we are now home and it looks like Willow had <laughs> just gotten in the pool which is not the right time Willow you have to catch a flight in an hour and you have to say goodbye to your family now but she is just gonna go ahead and say goodbye to her family like oh my god how sad is this I think she's kind of saying like I had such a fun time saying bye to my friends but now we have to go ahead and say goodbye to everyone this is gonna be utter chaos I wish they'd all just hang out here but they're not going to they have stuff to do but first of all she's like bye Daisy you know if you ever need to tell me anything okay just call me and she's like I promise you know I'll promise I'll call you if I ever need any advice whether it be studying or just life advice in general I think what is like like saying you know if you ever need to speak to me about anything just call me okay I'm just a call away and I think she's also gonna say goodbye to baby Bud next since he is here go ahead and hug lovingly oh my gosh so she looks like she's saying goodbye to her siblings first they're all just kind of hanging out together this is so 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 sad but now she's saying goodbye to Bert. she's like bye bye baby Bert. oh my gosh how cute i think Bert. she's like i'm gonna miss you so much now she's actually gonna go ahead and say goodbye to fisher and fisher is i know i said they're all close like a minute ago i even said all the honey brews are like equally close to each other but she is especially close to fisher like really Really, really close that was like the first ever sibling she ever had to you know take care of like i said they're all equally close but you know fisher is definitely very special so she's like okay fish i hope you have an amazing trip to mount kamarebi all right and you have an amazing amazing birthday okay you need to study a little bit harder in school okay promise you <laughs> promise me you'll do that and i think he's like okay fine i'll i'll study a little bit harder so yeah these two are now chatting and oh gosh you would have missed her flight if this was real life but i think now she's kind of said goodbye to the kids we are gonna go ahead and head to the airport there is no airport in the sims 4 okay okay guys we're just gonna pretend that there's an airport right there <laughs> okay but now she's gonna go ahead and first of all say goodbye to feather i think feather's like okay good luck with uni all right you promise me you'll be good and you don't party too much you know i trust you to really put studying first but promise me you'll be good and that you'll you know not do anything too crazy all right honey we're gonna miss you so much make sure you come back for harvest fest and everything make sure you send fisher a gift in the mail for his birthday and i actually almost forgot we're gonna actually throw fisher over here because he actually forgot to give her the gift um that he made the painting that he painted so he's gonna go ahead and give her a gift no he's still in his swimming trunks maybe he had to quickly get like the bus or the train i don't think he's ever done this before so it's like such a big step for him but he's like i had to quickly get the train They're like what are you doing here he's like i had to get the train i forgot to give willow her gift oh that's so sweet of him oh i love him so much and there we go he's kind of just giving her the gift he's like okay here is your kind of university good luck gift i made it for you and she's like oh my gosh that's so nice i love it so much oh how adorable but now willow is probably going to be boarding the flight to brightchester so i am also going to be probably wrapping up today's part here as well let me know what you thought of it today's part was very action-packed filled compared to the last part but let me know what you thought of this part to be honest i did so much i cannot think off the top of the head everything that we did do so i really <laughs> do apologize for that but let me know what you thought of everything that we did in this part i'd love to hear your guys opinions your suggestions and i really really hope you guys did enjoy it as i said at the beginning of the video i did actually post a poll asking you guys who you wanted to follow as the heir and so far willow is actually winning said poll as i said i did do a poll willow is winning the poll but i'm gonna give it another 24 hours because i want to make sure that everybody who has watched honey Brew can vote on the poll of who the next heir is going to be so by next part 
we will have decided who we're going to be following, which is quite insane. I'm very, very scared about it, but I'm going to give the poll another 24 hours. If you'd like to vote on the poll, just go to the community tab on my channel and you can vote who you want us to follow and who you want the heir of the Honey Brew legacy to be. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye bye. quick thank you to all of the channel members. Thank you Kristen, Cottage Crossing, The Mint Plum Bob Florida, Michelle Monroe, Snowy Blaze, DayQ Midoriya, Nanny Bay, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Gianna Hicks, M. Hal, Redalia Griffin, Sky Perry and Callisto Eris. I really do appreciate it.